I'm. I kind of want to see where this goes. I do too. <laughs> the cow is the only one to see the character topless like twice now. <laughs> Chapter eight. You're a foolish woman. Ooh. I want kind of to see that picture that I sent. <laughs> oh yeah, Bobby intensifies. I don't see it. Oh no, I sent. I uh, texted to you. Oh. Okay. Oh, my mom called. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Too much intensity. Vacation. Oh god, it's intensifying. <laughs> Bro, boost <it's> intensifying. <laughs> All right. A few days later, for Tauko's sake, and so that I could be together with Tauko. I'd constantly been thinking what I could do for those aims. But no matter how much I thought about it, the answer didn't change. I need more money than I have now. That fact won't change. And I had no other bright ideas. If that's how it is, then perhaps I have no choice but to go towards that aim at full speed. Aroha-san. I I'm just gonna go for it. I rushed into the shop and immediately called out to Aroha-san. Oh my, Kana-san. What happened? Why in such a hurry? I... I want to do whatever I can to help Tauko. What can I do to help? Please, oh, tell no. me! Oh no, 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 this is a bad idea! I never imagined that I would plead to Aroha-san so desperately. He probably felt that I was doing this as a last resort. Aroha-san made a bitter face and had me sit to calm me down. It would be better for you to calm down a little. Here, someone, bring some tea. Aroha-san said this as he clapped his hands. No, I am calm. I'm asking you like this specifically because I was able to think about this while calm. No, you're not. You're being dumb. Sorry. Well, I will take this seriously then. Even so, regarding what it is that you can do, the daughter of a traitor can do. It is not something that requires hard thinking. Aren't there many things that you can do? I think it's something that you didn't need to be asked, but why are you asking me? That's... I mustn't identify myself. If I do, things will only become worse than they need to be. However, after hearing Aroha-san's words, my thoughts turned into convictions. So, will this be enough to help him out a little? I placed the large parcel that I brought with me in front of Aroha-san. Oh! Oh? Aroha-san quickly reached his hands out to the parcel. Then he smoothly untied the knot. What emerged from inside this parcel were the items that I had received from those two escapees. And it was all that I had left. My, my. That is quite a lot that you have there. I heard that you need about 1,000 Rio to buy one's freedom. However, that amount is totally beyond my reach. But if this could somehow help to cow... This should be enough to send him home. Or, this should be enough to send to his home. This can make things a little easier for Taco, too. Really? Yes. You're such a very kind young lady. And if you will allow me to hold on to this, it'd be fine for you to come and see Takao any time. Ooh. Including today, of course. Would you like to enjoy yourself? Huh? I didn't really plan on it today. Just as I said that. A boy brought the tea that Oroha san had requested earlier. Something bad's about to happen, I can tell. Perfect timing. Escort this young lady. She's chosen to cow today as well. Oroha san was in a good mood while I looked on in blank uh. amazement. He had me taken uh -huh. to the bedroom. After waiting there for a while, Takao came for me. It's been a while. What have you been doing, hmm? He then immediately snuggled up to me, buried his face in my neck, and started to kiss me. My body squirmed from the tickling sensation, but my body was held firmly still by Tauko. 
Even if you ask me what I've been doing. The fact that I've been thinking of Tauka the whole time, so much that my chest ached, is something that I could never say. I've been thinking of you all along. Tauko! I've been wondering when the next time that I could have you in my sights. When I could hear the next... When I could next hear your voice like this. They're fucking cute! <laughs> it's like he is so fallen. Like, you can totally tell... Ah! Ah! <laughs> and so is she, too, but she just fucked them! She <laughs> fucked them so hard! She... Why would you do that? I, I kind of understand why, but <clears throat> she doesn't have enough to buy him. Like, and she doesn't know um, how devious asshole is. Yeah, I really think Tauk or um, Aroha is not going to do anything with that money. Oh. When I would a uh, when I would next be able to inhale your fragrance with fond thoughts, I've wondered just when this would all exactly come to pass. These electrifyingly sweet words. Anyone would hear, pay to hear him whisper these sweet words, whether it was a lie or whether it was true. But this was not so important in a place like this. <laughs> Me too. That's why I also gave a sweet response like this. <clears throat> Sorry. Also, today, I have something to report to you, Takao. Oh? I could wait. Just what could it be? Earlier, I gave a lot of money to Aroha san. Please, use it. What? Well, why would you do something like that? Suddenly, Takao's complexion changed and he firmly gripped my shoulders. Huh? Takao's expression changed and he began to shake my shoulders. Why are you angry? It's for you, I'm scared. Well, it's for you. It's, it's for, for you, you. yeah. <clears throat> it was for you. I didn't ask for something like that. Takao stared at me with a pale look on his face. A Ouch! He gripped my shoulder tightly, and the pain made me wince. Then, Takao finally realized what he was doing. S sorry But why'd you do something like that? Takao hung his head in sadness. Why? I just wanted to help you, even if it was just a little. I know that it's impossible to actually buy your freedom, and that's why I just gave it over, thinking that it might be useful at some point in time. I heard about it, that you're sending money to your parents. Once I heard that, I couldn't let it go. You really... <sighs> Takao grabbed my arm and pulled me in close. He then continued to squeeze me tight. Takao held me tightly to the center of his chest. Really, you... A foolish woman. Takao then held my body with even greater strength. His power was so painfully strong that my bones creaked, and it felt as if they would break. But there seemed to be love in that strong embrace. That's the illusion that I created. I gently hugged him back. It's terrible of you to call me a fool. It's fine. There's nothing that's terrible about it. That's why I won't let you go. This is cute! Control this is yourself, cute. Kata. Control! This is cute! This is cute! This is cute! This is cute! <laughs> Simply because it's you. I can't get you out of my head. Talco. Were those his true feelings or not? I couldn't ask such a thing. The only thing that is certain now is this warmth. All I can do is believe that this is enough. I just want to clutch your body in my arms more and more. This is going to be a repeat of the last chapter, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. I'll take your everything. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. Will you allow me to do that today, Kana? Uh. His words were filled with a sense of defeat and yearning. I tried to understand the meaning of the words that were spoken, but could not. This is the Red Light District. He is a courtesan, so it'd be no wonder if there, these were nothing but tricks. But hearing Tauko's voice, I couldn't help but believe him. What a mysterious thing. 
I came here to sell my love. But now I've gone crazy. That's cute. Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. I'm okay. <laughs> it seems that I've been selling something outrageous. Now I understand the feelings of these women who couldn't rationalize a one-night romance. I feel pathetic. He whispered in my ears with a sense of disappointment, his voice occasionally <clears throat> trembling. How could I ever believe that this was a lie? But I... I, I want you to count. To take my everything. Kana? Are you serious? Jokes won't work at this stage of the game. Talco released my body slightly and then stared at my face. He peered deep into my eyes as if he were trying to see straight through my heart. I, I would never joke about that. And the next mi moment, my view shook, and this is where we're gonna have. Apparently, visual novel sexy time is what I'm assuming. <laughs> I immediately felt a soft feeling on my back and noticed that I had been pushed down. How do girls, like, just notice that? Like, that's, that's been, like, a running theme every time she's been pushed onto the bed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I didn't know what happened. Oh, I'm on the bed. <laughs> Where did it come Oops. from? Whoopsie. Oh, I guess I was pushed. Maybe she has, like, really bad inner ear injuries. <laughs> Her sense of balance, she doesn't know when she's upright. That's true. <clears throat> if so, then I'll take it. Your purity, your love, your everything. Oh, my Kakuya's best. No, Yoshiwara's best. Bye, aye. Takao sama. He looked down on me and grinned. His alluring smile pierced me straight through. Takao's face spread out to encompass my full view, and our lips overlapped. His tongue pushed into my mouth, aggressively searching for my tongue, and intertwined itself. His movements were so intense that I couldn't breathe. So sexy it was frightening. Ah! Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna be doing that. It's happening. I didn't think you were gonna be doing that, so I was like sighing with like disappointment. <laughs> Wait, I'm crying. <laughs> uh. How crazy will you make me before I feel satisfied? His voice, interspersed with panning, filled the gaps between her lips. As he devoured my lips, Takao ravaged my clothes and slid in between a gap in my clothing. Kana, you won't listen to me at all. So for all the guys in, like, the peanut gallery, this is your future. <laughs> I <laughs> hope you know that. <laughs> oh, dear. I hope, like, at least Kagero will be a little bit more gentle and sensible about it. I think Kagero is going to rape you. Legit straight up. Yeah. Kagero or Kagura? Kagero. Kagero, yeah. I don't know about that. I think so because he's a snooty little bitch. Yeah. Kagero, yeah. on the other hand, seems well, he's to actually just, respect like, him. hard on the outside, soft on the inside, like an M&M. No, that's not how M&Ms are at all! <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> hard on the outside, soft on the inside? You know, the, it melts no, in your, it your mouth, not in your hands. Mouth, not in your hand. Yeah. You got anyway. the hard candy shell and the soft, liquidy, melty chocolate. It's not liquid, it's solid. Once it melts, it is. No. I want it to be in Hayabusa storyline. They'll just be in the middle of it, and they'll be like, Hey, can you fix my sandal strap for me? You can, can tell broke? how single we all are based on the fact that we're not continuing the sex scene and instead talking about M&Ms. <laughs> I just want to throw that out there. Hey, I have a girlfriend. I don't know what you're talking about. That's what he says. <laughs> but yeah, I have proof. <laughs> more than this. Anyway. Okay, let's let's yeah. go on. <laughs> I asked you to wear more ornate clothing. I told you that you'd look better that way, didn't I? Uh, I remembered the day when I first came here and wore that gorgeous kimono. At the time, I didn't imagine that I would become so infatuated with this person like I am now. It was just the other day, but the memory seemed so distant. What happened? Your outfit has hardly changed from when I first met you. With your figure still changed and your eyes brimming with strength and fragility. You continue to peel her before me. You've committed great sin, young lady. 
That's actually really cute. <laughs> like, if we're being honest, that's like really adorable. He's still his old talkative self. Ah, moving on. <laughs> moving on again. My body withered and twisted, but all this did was add fuel to the fire that burned within Tauko. That's a good response. How far of these how far will these hands slide? Okay. Ah. <laughs> it reminded mm. me of Wet and mm. Wild. <laughs> right. <laughs> like a water slide. <laughs> 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 How far will these hands slide to tonight? How far will these hands slide to tonight? Further and further. My fingers will crawl every nook and cranny of your body. <laughs> oh no! I'm just gonna skip that line. <laughs> Tauka's tongue slid across my bare skin. His tongue carefully treaded every inch of my body from top of my chest down to my navel. And... Oh! <laughs> he reached an area that throbbed with a hot, electrifying sensation. A rush of something even hotter came flowing out. My face became hot with shame. But more than that, an intense feeling of ecstasy ran throughout my body. Oh no, I'm not! <laughs> It's happening! <laughs> <laughs> How old is everybody here? I want to do an age roll call real quick. No. I'm 27. <laughs> I'll get... 29. We're gonna skip this. We're gonna... Let's just go on. Let's, 24. Let's, let's, let's go on. Crows, how old are you? Let's go on. Crows. Ta Tauko's voice sounded distant. Let's go on. <laughs> Tauko's Crows voice is 48. sounded Crows, distant. Crows, it's happening. <laughs> my thoughts and my body became more and more distant. As my consciousness started to melt away, I... This is a weird place for a choice. Would you surrender your body? I would too, but this is just a really weird place. The third option. The third one. No, I think mm, just no. surrender your cover body. Your fi no, cover your face and say no, baby. No, no. surrender your no. body. You're being outruled, no Bobby. about that, Bobby. <clears throat> That's what they said earlier. No joking. My body stood immersed in pleasure, and I stretched my arms around Tauko's shoulders. Are you inviting me? Then, as you desire, I'll make your body sing with untold pleasure. If Tyler was here, this would be really hilarious. No, this would be a perfect <laughs> part where if you've seen the I Am Daisy comic dub, like Yosuke would just pop in the corner and go like, I have to pee! Tauko laughed in a terrifyingly attractive <laughs> manner, and he gently intertwined his fingers with my hands. Didn't I tell you that I would take your everything? Continuing like this, I then received a sweet ripping pain. Ah, and it's over! Yay! <laughs> Yes! Oh, yes! We made it through it. Woo! Fade to black. Woo! Uh, Alright! Okay. That was really cute, well, though. Oh, hold to on. be fair. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Da 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 To be fair, though, that was really fucking adorable. So, uh, I understand it was... T <laughs> for all the fans out home, for anybody oh, watching this God. episode... I'm sorry for the awkwardness. There are just some things that you just normally don't do with friends. And Excuse me, guys. I need to go have a cigarette. <laughs> 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 Last night, after that, I fell asleep. And the next day, I went back home. Wait, come back, Bobby. <laughs> we need you to be the Jewish mom again. If Bobby's gone, I'll be Jewish mom. Okay, I can be Jewish mom. So again, just where have you been wandering about? I I'm sorry, mother. As soon as I arrived back home, the scolding voice of my mother rang out. Well, you think you can just do as you please because you've done all your chores? Because I've heard a little rumor. A rumor? I heard that you've been going to that Yoshiwara place. Huh? Hmm? Have I hit the nail on the head? I'm shocked. Have you really reached that age? This is awkward. This is more awkward than the sex scene, to be quite honest yeah. with you. It's like, oh, my mom knows that I'm going to a, a prostitute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right. Saving your allowance to go there? No, no, Bobby, you've been replaced. Wait. This is Elk. Oh. 
So even and you're allowed to go there? That must be pretty tough for you, right? So, what's the name of your gentleman? Um, w well... Looking at the way my mother was closing in on me, it seemed that there would be no way to escape. So I gave up and opened my mouth to speak. Um, Tauko san Huh? Wait, just now, did you say the cow? The look on my mother's face suddenly changed. He's your father! <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, he's no. your brother! She was looking at me with a pale face and wide eyes. Actually, it's very possible that we're we're half siblings. Oh wow! No, like think about it. You, can you imagine the sheer amount of inbreeding that happens on these islands? Oh, oh, <laughs> right. Ten boys. We don't we're probably related to half the city. I mean, when you think about it, we don't know who her father is, and and Tauko's father is a courtesan. Yeah. Uh, uh, Bobby brought it up as a joke, but as soon as he did, I was just like, down the incest route. Yeah, as soon as uh. he. <laughs> Um, mother? <clears throat> Miss, could you help me for a minute? Just as I was about to ask my mother once more, an attendant heard my voice and from inside the shop and called out. Y yes right away Um, mother? Oh, well, it's fine. Just take care of the shop first. Yes. Though I didn't want to leave after seeing my mom like that, I went into the shop. It really made me wonder what happened. There was a sense of uneasiness in my chest, and I couldn't help but feel restless. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 you gave him your everything? That's not fair. Anyway, I need to get going. I know I'm you do. That, but, oh. That was such a well, good boy, son! <laughs> that was such a... Oh, the name of it! I know, I know! <laughs> Can I hug you? Oh, it's, oh. They're, oh they're so cute. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, See, I told you are. you guys would totally get into the visual novel they thing. Are. You guys are totally uh, into it now. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making fun of me! <laughs> 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 <laughs>